you know what? Ross is a good worker, he's better trained than Dan, and he turns up every day, unlike you. <laughs> he's trouble. Well, if he makes trouble, then he's out. Right. Dan said you wanted to see me. Christmas bonus. We get a bonus? Well, you've earned it, haven't you? So? And, um, you can stay on permanent if you want. I expect him to be cars now he's back. You'll be getting him if you step out of line. I won't. Cheers. See ya. We'll be right back where we started. We can still do a deal on the herd. Shit, and then what? Look, you're letting Ross screw us over again. Just go and pack or I'll do it for you. Moira, thank you for everything. We'll be out your hair by tonight. You don't have to go. Start on Ross's stuff. We'll head off when he gets back. I can't guarantee he won't pull a stunt like that again. It's better all round if I take him away. You are not giving him a chance. I told you he's putting things right. What, with a few hours fetching and carrying? There's new packaging equipment out there, new doors, new windows. I can tell what kind of a job they did. Yes, we've had to replace a few things, but it was no big deal. I'd take anything you couldn't replace. I have some photos and some stuff of John's, but I I'm not holding that against him, so I don't see why you should. I've been waiting for you to get back. Gotta jump straight in the shower. What, with a bag full of Nick booze? It isn't Nick. Why are you hiding it then? It's Christmas stuff for her to say thanks. You really expect me to believe that? Back off, Dad. Now you listen to me. You stole from her when she stood up for you. She gave you a bed, and you let a load of thugs smash this place. Don't you think you owe us some respect? James, leave it. It's dealt with. I respect her more than you. Yeah, because I know what you really like. And I'm not afraid to call you on it. I didn't nick nothing. Debbie gave us a bonus. I worked hard for that money. Tell him Debbie gave me that money. What? Tell him! I mean, Debbie gave him some cash today, yeah. What's your problem? Him. Pretending to go straight. And he'd stab you in the back as much as look at you. I'm sorry for what you did. I'll do everything I can to make it right. I'm doing that myself, and it wasn't just me they came looking for. I never even met Marcus until he asked me to do him a favour. So get your facts straight before you go accusing me next time. That true? I wish I could say it wasn't. Anyone for a brew? Yep. Good evening, all. Charity? Those lights on out there yet? Oh, yeah. It's quite the spectacle. Hey, you should go and take a look. Not feeling very festive, funnily enough. I'll bring the drinks over. Yeah, thanks. And um, anything Charity wants, of course. I hope we're not going to have a repeat of last night. Oh, have you not heard? We're being amicable. Good for you. Hi, Tar. All right. You stalking me or something? I happen to be here first, so... Is it safe to do this, or will I end up with your knee in my groin? Uh, well, if you buy us another of these, you might end up with a lot more than that. <laughs> Your fellow keeps looking over. That's a bad breakup, you know what it's like. Not really. Oh, right, you've never been dumb. No, I don't let them stick around long enough. Oh, well, at least one of us has got it right. I get bored quickly. Are you bored now? Depends what happens next. How about this? What is she doing with him? I mean, he terrorised Laurel, he's a criminal. Oh, she's always had a penchant for bad boys. Going over. You do that and you play right into her hands. You're done with fighting, remember? <sighs> you move fast. All right, you don't like fast. Oh, I love fast. Should we get out of here? Yeah. Oh.